When it comes to using chemicals in the workplace, safety isn't optional, it's essential. The legislation has clear standards in place to help protect workers from hazardous substances. In this video, we're counting down the top 10 safety tips you need to follow when working with chemicals. Tip number one, know your chemicals. Always review the safety data sheet or SDS for any chemical you're working with. Regulations require that SDSs be readily accessible to all employees. The SDS consists of several pages and always has the same 16 sections covering critical information on hazards, first aid, handling and storage, PPE, reactivity, toxicology, and disposal, to name just a few. Everyone who could be affected by a hazardous substance has the right to know. So, always be willing to share critical information with those around you. Be sure to see our video on safety data sheets. A link is in the description. Thank you for watching. This video took over a week to create and we're thrilled to share it with you for free on YouTube. If you found it valuable, the best way to show your appreciation is by sharing it with your team, leaving a comment, and subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us continue creating quality content. Tip number two, labels. According to legislation, all containers of hazardous chemicals must be appropriately labeled with the product identifier, GHS pictograms, signal word, hazard statements, and precautionary statements. Never use a chemical from an unmarked or illegibly labeled container. Be sure to see our video on the Globally Harmonized System, or GHS. A link is in the description. Tip number three, personal protective equipment, or PPE. Employers must provide appropriate personal protective equipment, or PPE. Employees must also be trained on how to properly use it. This could include gloves, goggles, aprons, or even respirators, depending on the chemical. The required PPE can be found in Section 8 of the SDS. Tip number four, ventilation. Many chemicals release fumes that can be harmful if inhaled. Regulations recommend using fume hoods, exhaust fans, or proper HVAC systems to keep air quality safe. The required engineering controls can also be found in Section 8 of the SDS. Tip number five, storage. Legislation mandates that chemicals must be stored according to their compatibility. Flammables and combustibles must not be stored with oxidizing agents. Flammables must be stored in flame-resistant cabinets. More information on proper storage can be found in Section 7 of the SDS. Be sure to see our video on dangerous goods. A link is in the description. Tip number six, emergency preparation. Legislation mandates clear access to emergency equipment and adequate training on how to use it. Know the location of safety showers and eyewash stations, fire extinguishers, and the appropriate spill kits as outlined in Section 6 of the SDS. Tip number seven, contamination. Remove contaminated PPE and wash up before entering clean zones to prevent the spread of contamination to other areas, such as lunch rooms and office areas. Always clean up spills immediately and decontaminate surfaces using the appropriate spill kit. Properly dispose of any contaminated PPE and spill kit material appropriately. Be sure to refer to Section 6 of the SDS. Tip number 8. Intended use. Chemicals should only be used for their intended purpose and according to manufacturer guidelines. Improper use can lead to unexpected reactions and serious injuries. More information can be found in sections 2 and 10 of the SDS. Tip number 9. Report all incidents. Legislation requires that chemical spills, exposures, and near misses be reported and documented. This helps identify hazards and improve safety protocols moving forward. Tip number 10. Ongoing training. Legislation mandates that all workers handling hazardous chemicals receive proper training. 
refresher courses, toolbox talks, and ongoing education are key to maintaining a safe workplace. Safety isn't just about checking boxes, it's about creating a culture where everyone goes home healthy. Follow these 10 tips and you'll be well on your way to a safer, smarter workplace. Thanks for watching our video. Here are two more of our videos you may like to watch next. And so you don't miss out on our future videos, don't forget to subscribe by clicking here.